Terra Luna Classic continues to maintain ground, and we could have a big breakout on our hands here. We're not talking about a technical breakout. We're not talking about anything other than the SEC's case against Do Kwon and Terraform Labs potentially being dismissed. Now, you guys might be thinking that how does this affect Terra Luna Classic? Why are we worried about Do Kwon? Well, we'll be talking about it in this video. We're going to be talking about what the judge says and so on because we could see a dismissal of this lawsuit as early as July 14th. Now, we know, well, we're going to get into all the details of the, of the case in the video here, but the SEC is basically claiming that Terra Luna, and of course, Terra Luna Classic, because Terra Luna is a fork of Terra Luna Classic are securities and the USTC is an investment contract and therefore a security as well. We're going to have a decision soon. We're going to talk about it. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you guys are holding on those exchanges, it's going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Also, Weeble, they're going to be changing their crypto their crypto trading app coming, I guess, as early as next week. So watch out for that one as well if you guys are thinking about buying cryptocurrency on the Weeble app. Guys, we've got a beautiful article here. We're going to be going over this article, or we're going to be talking about the repercussions that this could have for Terra Luna Classic. Because we know that the overall cryptocurrency market is down right now because the SEC is suing Binance. The SEC is suing Coinbase. The SEC might even be suing your mom right now because they are going after everybody. It is absolutely ridiculous the, the tyrannical power and abuse that Gary Gensler is putting on to this industry. And yes, I know, the SEC is probably not suing your mom. But Gary Gensler is getting a little bit ridiculous and he's obviously out of control. So let's listen to this, this article here and what a decision in this lawsuit could not only mean for Terra Luna Classic, but the entire crypto industry in general. It says, breaking US SEC lawsuit against Terraform Labs and Do Kwon could be dismissed. Terraform and Do Kwon lawyers used house, US House hearing, Binance US complaint, and Hinman email documents to dismiss the SEC lawsuit. Top law firm Denton's, representing Terraform Labs and co-founder Do Kwon, filed an additional document in support of the motion to dismiss a lawsuit filed by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. The court hearing on Thursday centered on whether or not digital assets created by Terraform Labs are securities under an investment contract. And this article is on CoinGape. If you guys want to check out the full article, we're not going to read through it word for word, and we're not going to read the entire thing, but you guys can check it out if you'd like. Now, the U.S. judge decision to dismiss the lawsuit against Terra, Kwan, or Terra and Do Kwan is going to happen in July. Terraform Labs and co-founder Do Kwan's lawyers and the U.S. SEC lawyers filed a response to the motion to dismiss the lawsuit in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York on June 15th. Denton's lawyers, representing Terraform Labs and co-founder Do Kwan, strongly claimed that the algorithmic stablecoin UST, now USTC, this is why we care, this is what we are trying to repay, is not a security as it was designed for the practical purposes rather than an investment contract. 
They filed additional documents to support the motion to dismiss a lawsuit. It includes the U.S. House Financial Services Committee hearing on digital asset regulation and stablecoin issuance, the SEC request for a restraining order against Binance, and Hinman emails in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Lawyers mention regulatory gap in whether crypto assets can uh, constitute securities as the U.S. Congress discusses regulatory frameworks for the digital assets and stablecoin issuance. Moreover, the SEC is acting outside of the boundaries of the securities law and the SEC internal emails on investment contract to find a security. U.S. SEC lawyers argued that additional documents filed by the defendants don't support the motion to dismiss. <laughs> no kidding. Good job, SEC lawyers. Where'd you, where'd you find those guys, man? One of the pro bono clinics over the weekend. They claim the Howey test clearly indicates that what constitutes an investment contract and UST was a security. <laughs> These guys make me laugh, man. The SEC, I, I don't know where they're finding these lawyers or if these articles are just written in a way to make them sound stupid, but you cannot. Like, it, that's like defining a word and using the word in the definition. You don't say that UST is a security or USTC is a security because it passes the Howey test. You absolutely need to show why it passes the Howey test. It is a security because it is a security. I really hope that these articles are being written in a way that uh, simplifies the SEC's claim as to what is going on in these suits. Otherwise, these judges, there's no way these judges are dumb enough to side with the SEC. Now, in April, a South Korean court ruled that Terra Luna Classic, LUNC, is not a security and Terra's crypto assets are not investment contracts. Guys, there's a lot going on in this case, and and I do believe that Terraform Labs, Do Kwon, Terra Luna Classic has some very good defense. Now, I'll be the first to admit U.S. law probably doesn't care at all about South Korean law, and and I really I'm I'm highly skeptical that the judge in this case is going to consider law in South Korea as precedent. So. Let's just kind of put the South Korean judgment to the side here and focus on what's going on here in the United States and what's going on with Terra Luna Classic. If Terraform Labs, Do Kwon, and these lawyers are successful and, and the judge dismisses this case without any further evidence, that is going to be a huge win for Terra Luna Classic as it is not a security, and could potentially be relisted. That's the most important part. If Terra Luna Classic is determined not to be a security, if USTC is determined not to be a security, there is a very good chance that they are relisted on United States exchanges, and that could cause a soar in value. Beyond that, if the judge dismisses this lawsuit by July 14th, we are potentially going to see massive wins across the board as the SEC begins to be viewed as someone who truly is overreaching their power and abusing their authority. Guys, I'm actually really excited about this case here, and I do hope that the judge dismisses it, but... We know that lawyers love to prolong things. We know that the judges love to stay in the news. And these people make more money the longer they take to litigate. So it might be pretty hard to see a win that easy. I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below. Do you think a win in this lawsuit gets Terra Luna Classic and USTC relisted on US exchanges? Let me know your thoughts. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.